Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3, and we need the borders in, don't we? There we go. Excellent. Uh, when we last left off, I believe we were examining the uh, restaurant. Yes, yes we were. Uh, we're a little bit injured, but I think, if memory serves me correctly, and I'm pretty sure it might do, um... Fingers crossed, we can get a free kill on Nemesis here. If we're quick, and we're lucky, and we don't... Oh. Really? Really? Now, as for... Um, I, I got a comment, actually, from Reva. As for um, combining these in multiple stacks, yes, you get more bullets, but it doesn't count towards your uh, leveling progress, I suppose, to getting um, the enhanced ammo. Yeah, you're completely right about that, actually, and I completely forgot about that. Uh, it's done on how many times you combine, not technically how many um packets of, of powder you combine so yeah yeah that's that's yeah uh, <laughs> probably should have combined them because the few bullets extra that we have made definitely won't be as useful as the uh, enhanced ammo that we potentially possibly could have been making by now i think uh we're gonna take a healing item and um the other comment i got about the magnum being better than the grenade launcher. Uh, I think objectively speaking, the Magnum absolutely is better than the grenade launcher because Nemesis can't dodge the Magnum. Whereas Nemesis can actually dodge the grenade launcher quite a lot, the Magnum also does more damage and stuns him, I believe. Whereas the grenade launcher... Well, standard grenade rounds in this game are actually pretty shit. Acid rounds aren't too bad, but of course you get the nitrogen freeze rounds, which are the big daddy daddios. But um, yeah, that's like way, way off into the future. So yeah. Uh, personally, I do prefer the Magnum myself as well. Okay. Here we go. Oh! What's that? I forgot Calm Carlos down, turns lady. up. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos. Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Hey, big boy. How did he find me? Uh, he just knows, Jill. Right, so if we run and hide in the basement, we don't actually get the free kill. Um, Over so here. that's not what we're going to do. And you still have to come up and fight Nemesis if memory serves anyway. Get fucked. Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us. Yeah, but I didn't, so chill. Shush your noise, dude. Okay, so we will definitely take the first aid box. Uh, not really sure how useful that's going to be, but hey, we got another kill on Nemesis, and it didn't cost us anything. This playthrough definitely could have been going better. But, you know, um, I don't pretend to be uh, an absolute expert in this one. His chest has been ripped into and torn apart. Yeah. Yeah, it has. Pretty badly. Now, what can we do down here? It's a freezer. I know, I'm sure there's something that we can do down here. Carlos? Any ideas? Or do we have to go upstairs and push a button? I'm sure there's something that we needed to go down there for. Oh, hey, Nemi. Hey, buddy. Now, is it worth... ...dropping Nemesis again? Not sure, actually. Should we try it for science? Can we get another kill from Nemesis here? 
Okay, so uh, we're back guys. This is actually a completely different day now. Ah, um, I had an issue with this video, which I've just noticed. Uh, we actually had a pause here to try and take on Nemesis. And yeah, video didn't actually continue recording, which was really annoying. Um, so I've had to come back here. Uh, we did down Nemesis, but there's no point. I can't remember where I was about in this video because it was quite a few days ago I recorded this and this is like an emergency recording at 20 to 9 <laughs> after a full day of work. So anyway, let's continue. Uh, I believe I saved over my um, original save state so I can't just completely do the video again which kind of sucks ass but that's where it goes anyway let's continue and I have no audio like at all I don't know why that is there we go okay cool right nemesis is coming Ooh, that hurts come on there we go oh shit uh, oh we're on danger oh that's no good yeah uh, good luck with him uh, Carlos, you're one of the good ones, dude. Uh, I don't think there's like any point in us going down here. I'm pretty sure, I think this is one of the locations where the green gem can be? Question mark? But yeah, there's nothing here. It's a freezer, it certainly is. Alright, let's get out of here. I think it's about time for us to move on and leave this place. Yeah, because we found out in the last uh, video, if memory serves me correctly, that Carlos can actually die. Oh, really? Which kind of blew my fragile little mind. I had no idea that Carlos could die. That was quite interesting. Anyway, let's Okay, back to the mean streets. I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Yeah, he's still pissed. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it! Mm. Yeah, it's very different to the remake. Uh, I do prefer Jill's attitude in the remake as well. She's... Oh, crap. She's a little bit... Um, I don't know. More bullshit. She's... Uh, yeah. She doesn't take no shit in the remake. She's a little bit... She's got a little bit more of that fuck you attitude. Which I actually quite like. Now, unfortunately, with Nemesis right up our asshole like he is, we're just going to have to keep going. Uh, we're going to go this way. Yeah. All right, Nemesis. Um, I'm kind of tempted to drop him, but at this point, it's just a waste of ammo. We won't actually get any other items. Not yet. Uh, now, let's see. Uh... I might actually keep a herb on us, maybe. Yeah, seems like a good idea. We'll drop... Oh, yeah, we will actually. We'll mix ourselves up a super herb. As my friend Ant used to say, a mega weed. Right, okay, so we've got a mega weed. We've got our eagle 6.0. Uh, oh, we'll take the blue gem as well. And we can make tracks and what I will do now I'm actually here we will save it we'll save it in another slot I bought this emulator so we have five save slots for each game so I might as well use them damn it all right let's go let's go ah oh, no really really ah oh, dickhead Absolute dickhead. You're a dickhead, Nemesis. I hope you're pleased with yourself. 
Ah, fucking wow, oh, here we go. We can actually get him stuck here, I think. Is it this bit? Yeah, you can, but you've got to get it. Like, you've got to get in the right place, I think. Piss off, Nemesis. Alright, I've had enough of your shit. No, the clock is not functioning. Two gems are missing, so let's put you in. Get that out of our inventory. Yeah, seems not enough to make the device work. Ah, oh, come on. Nemi, why you gotta make this so difficult, man? Now, fuck off. Right, give me the... Give me this guy there we go he's got some bullets for us against 30 bullets so oh really oh you absolute dick peen all right let's get out of here now eventually i'm pretty sure actually if we go in here the press building he's gonna stop following us in here i think i think but ah does she have an FA spray as well? I guess we'll take it. Uh, uh, no, we don't want the ink ribbons. Hell no. Go fuck yourself with those ink ribbons. Oh yeah, we've got the shutter. Our photo B is the next... Uh, oh shit, I don't have my list of files. But I'm pretty sure this is the next one anyway. A close-up shot of a zombie. Now that zombie is from the uh, cutscene. The original intro cutscene, actually. I don't know why I called it the original intro cutscene. It is literally the only intro in this game. You know. Right, let's move this up so the button up here we can push. Uh, if memory serves, this is about to get a lot worse before it gets better. Uh, I don't want to worry you, Jill. Yeah, oh, also I've heard it. There's a big rumor going around starting today that uh, Resident Evil 9 is going to focus on Jill. There's no power. Let's turn the power on. Okay, we now have power. Oh. Fireproof shutter is down. Yes, let's turn that on. Ooh. It's... Not looking too fresh up here, is it? Uh, all right, that's fine. Ooh, yeah, yeah, we're not going in there, Jill. Whoa, holy shit! It's uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be getting worse before it gets better, guys. This building is pretty bloody hot. And this is going to be a short video as well, guys, because. Kinda should be thinking about going to bed, but I want to play Resident Evil. Oh, oh shit! I forgot about you, dude. There we go. Let's get rid of you. Let's try that again. Actually, let's just go with the handgun. Really? There we go. Finish this guy's ass off. Now, if we. Yeah, pretty sure if we pick that up, Nemesis comes charging in. So, let's leave that there for now. I thought there were more zombies in here, actually. But it doesn't look like it. What's this? That's it, reporter's memo. At last, I have found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease, cannibal disease is indeed happening in the city. One man acts actually ate people to death. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I laughed about this like the first time. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal tearing away uh, tearing away a new flesh. Tearing away a new flesh? Does that make sense or is it my 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 um, tiredness creeping in? Uh, it was completely disgusting. I have heard rumours that many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, the causes of the disease is not yet known. Is this another mystery of the present disease? What? I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check on it. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside the city. 
but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people and my profession. I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. The military has set up blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come in contact with the disease. I know that it is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I'm infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. What a fucking champion. I won't give up until I solve this mystery of this deadly disease. I have just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. Hmm, yes. By some other means. Hmm, zombies. Yeah. Pretty obvious, douchebag, how the disease is spread. Ah, oh, no. There's photo C there. I might have mixed up the order in which we get Dill, uh, Dill? Who's Dill? Jill's diary. If that's the case, uh, I will get Jill's diary and put it into the video. Eh? Hey? <laughs> Dill, yeah, Dill's diary. Yes, laugh at me, poor tired man over here. Dill Valentine. <laughs> Dill Valentine. <laughs> it sounds like uh, one of those piss takes, like Dildo Baggins. Bloody uh, Lord of the Rings. No, it's, yeah, Lord of the Rings, I'm sure it's called. Uh, photo C. The police have been destroyed. They have been destroyed. Yeah, pretty sure I fucked that up. But, like I say, it doesn't matter. I'll, uh, I'll get the Jill's diary, even if I have to add it into the video. Yeah, we're going to take the green gem. <laughs> You're gonna be laughing about that with me. Just now. <laughs> Dill. What's wrong with Dill? Might be her twin sister. You don't know. Maybe she has got a twin sister called Dill Valentine. <gasps> Dill Valentine could be her brother, Dylan. No, I'm just I'm just retarded. Oh yeah. Uh oh god. Okay. For some reason, I thought that was a cutscene. That is not a cutscene. Out the way. Deal that. Oh, no. how did he catch me there? And I'm dead. How the fuck did he catch me there? Seriously. Ah, Deal Valentine. That was pathetic. Ah, oh, dude. That's savage. I don't have time to replay that. So, uh, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, when we come back... Oh, fuck's sake, man. Yeah. Uh, time has been a real problem this week. Uh, when we come back, I'll be back to where we were. I thought we were still in the cutscene for some reason. I actually uh, forgot that we had full control of Deal Valentine then. Um, so, when we come back, <laughs> what? Bill Valentine. I'm making it a thing, right? Um, hey, hey, you, you gotta own your mistakes. <clears throat> so, when we come back, guys, um, we'll be back in the press office, and, uh, I can't believe, nah, that's bullshit, man. I can't believe you grabbed me. Fucking sausage muncher. What a fucking dick buffer. That was cheap, man. Anyway. Uh, Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.